Okay, so this is a quick uh, video and I'm going to show you how to make a marketing flyer for a t-shirt printing business that's trying to target maybe the sports industry. So I've got an online course which is SE Workwear Academia if you're interested in getting into the t-shirt printing business um, and you want to know everything there is to know from designing right the way through to the machinery, the processes, how to sell, everything click on the link below and have a look it's really cool okay so uh, first of all I want to make this page um, this one is actually already set up for A5 you can see here but I want to put a box on there so I'm going to double click on the square on the left hand side that's going to give me an A5 square uh, rectangle um, now then I'm going to want to put in my logo so this is something we did earlier just a little so I'll take this out from here, copy, control C, bring that back in, control V. Let's just dump that there, probably won't use those colors, but just for now, we would have, um, let's go, let's put something in here. Like, so first of all, we need like promoting your um, fitness. Um, would you say fitness club? No, let's say sports club. Club. Um, with branded clothing. What we could actually do is could say branded merchandise. So things like you know what, what why would that be a good idea? We would say well, <coughs> um, um, mem your your members promote your business um, increases revenue um, for your business Let's just say for you increase your so your members promote your so let's say benefits benefits for selling Merchandise. Ooh. Merchant. Man, what am I doing? <clears throat> so benefits. Sorry. So benefits for selling merchandise. Uh, your members promote your business. It increases revenue. Increases revenue. Um, something like creates a um, feeling of um, being part of a group. So uh, creates a feeling of of um, community. I think might be better. Feeling of. Um, something like that anyway you can put in what you want but you what you really want is when you send this out is to actually make it feel like you're creating um, you know you're giving them something back why, why would they actually want to do this um, and you need to give them maybe that maybe some USPs um, fast service um, quality products um, um, just um, quick turnaround. Oh no, quick turnaround. We've got that professional service. Um, yeah, a large, large product range, range, all that sort of stuff. Um, okay. So obviously, what what you're looking for is is to generate something that you can walk around and drop into different sports clubs and. Um, hopefully pick up some sales or get some inquiries and at least once you start talking to these people then um, you know people will, will, will invite you in and you can sit down and start talking to them about you know um, upselling so you could create like bottles you could say oh, I do bottles I do hoodies I do tracksuit trousers I do sports shorts I do the sports t-shirts and we can brand all of that and you know you can imagine selling that to a club and they've got with their logo on everything it's just going to create this amazing sort of feeling of a of a tribe of people and that's exactly what people want they want to belong to something so this is going to be a great great sell for um, this hopefully will really help you generate some sales 
Okay, so um, I've got my logo there. Let's have a think about how we're going to make this look. So we're going to other things we're going to need. We're going to need our um, how they're going to contact us. So let's put a, a rectangle in. Um, we could have that across the bottom here. We might want to round that off. So I'll use my shape tool and pull that in. And we'll add in some text there. So I'll say um, the telephone number. So grab the text tool and click down and put um, um, call now 01235 or something. Anything, whatever your number is. So we'll be putting that in there. Um, you're going to want your social media. Um, so things like your Facebook, um, they're going to be a Facebook, Instagram, blah blah blah, um, email us, we're going to have an email, um, sales at t-shirtco.com or something, whatever your, your business is called, um, and that will go down here, some of this is going to be a social media. Uh, this is going to have an image up here. We're going to have um, uh, maybe a company logo here or here, smaller, um, and then some information about um, different products or something like that. So we could have like bottle. Okay, so that's cool. Let's uh, let's let's kick it off straight away and let's get ourselves going with. Uh, let's have a nice logo in the corner here. Um, I'm going to generate you two logo, two circles like so middle one I'm going to want to duplicate because that's the one that I'm going to use for this guy so I'm going to click that over there so these two I'm going to combine so put a, uh, put a draw a boundary around all of it press ctrl L and now new feature for call 2020 is smart fill so I'm going to click on that and fill in this area around the outside there and I don't really uh, that'll be alright no it doesn't matter we're just winging it we're winging it anyway so let's see how we get on um, and that one there, I want to go with a grey, I think grey, that petrol blue behind is nice, so if you wanted to get that petrol blue, click on your pipette tool, come over here, fill that, this one here, let's match that in with this uh, guy, so let's go, what's he got, blue, put that in there, blue colour, Maybe let's add something else around the outside here. I don't know. Try that. Feels a bit odd. That's odd. Let's click that. Let's just make that nice and smooth. Let run a bit further. I want to pull that out a bit more actually. And that needs to come up here. Uh, I reckon I want something there rather than there. Okay. I don't know if I like that. I'm going to leave it. I don't like it. Okay, let's stick with that. So this guy here, we want to put him inside that picture. Um, let's reduce this down. Now this is quite a cool little tool. This is called Power Clip. Um, let's just increase that a little bit there. And increase that actually about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... this To make it easier for me, I just fill it with colour. I click on that image, I right click, power clip inside container, click there, and I can drop that in over the top, like so. Like so, um, my t-shirt printing coat, I'm going to put at the top, like that. Let's put that in a circle. And if you wanted to put a contour around the outside of that, you could click on that and we could add a circle around the outside. Oops. 
EC, centralize it, bring it down, resize that. I want it smaller. Don't want it overpowering everything. Let's fill this one. Petrol colour. And we're going to bring my logo to the front, home. Around the outside of this here, I want to add a contour. Like so. Cool. Group. Resize, still too big, I think. Still too big. Let's give that a bit more. Okay, so my theme is going to be like this blue and red. Um, Bring that up there. Delete that, I don't need that. Now then. Let's move it out. This one again, blue. And I want a contour on the outside of that. Just a little bit of red. Let's bring that home forward. Bring it up to forward. Um, when I export this, I'm going to export this as um, a PDF. So what will happen is the outside of this won't actually be affected so um, because I've got smart fill on see it's uh, messed up a little bit so what I'm going to do is just delete that in there um, so and then I'll refill over the top at the end so I could go in like add that in nicely um, <clears throat> so let's add in here um, this text let's make that white Let's bring it forward, so control home. Let's change that font to match in with the rest of my fonts, which is impact. Let's bring that up there. Um, let's break this apart because I want to make this a bit bigger underneath. So I'm going to go control K or menu, break apart, control K. Um, I'm going to make that bigger. I think I might make this bigger actually as well. And maybe we should have that. No, yeah, that's all right, it's cool. There. Press L for left to align over that way. And back over here. Let's get in there. Um, we'll whack in an email address underneath there as well. Um, benefits of selling merchandise. So let's change the font of that to Impact. I want it all in capitals or title case. So I can go text, change case. Title case, okay. Um, so these can be some of the benefits there about us here. So let's go impact text, title case again, change title case. Um, there. Okay, impact. And we might want to put in some if we stretch it out a little bit, if I go to the shape tool, I can actually space that a little bit more. And same with that as well, I can space that a little bit more there. Benefit, benefits of selling merch, tell what would be cool. This t-shirt, if I go back, have I got one on there that I can pinch again? Yeah, I want that. Okay, I'm gonna take that, jump back over here. Might be quite cool. Um, I'm going to have that, stick that there, just cover it red for a minute so I can see it. Okay, that's cool. Um, what else? Promote your sports club with branded merchandise. Maybe too much text on this to be fair, but um, you get the idea. And you can design what you want then. I'm going to put this in uppercase. Promote, let's say promote. Fingers. Promote your sports club with branded clothing. Let's say clothing. The 
put that in there. This will come down here. That will go on there. Over this one, we've got um, I'll take that. Could add your address in there. Oops, sorry. Add your address in there if you want. Facebook, Instagram. I think for this particular thing, we would go put it on a like this, put it on one line. Something along those lines. Keep that simple, run it along the bottom. Central. Resize that, put that in there. Make that all white or white. Like so. And these would be your social links Facebook, Instagram. Let's get rid of that. I don't want any of that now. Delete that. Let's make this background colour. I do like that petrol colour. Okay, let's go with the white text up there. White text, white text. I think the red would be too intrusive. And we could put something like this here. So we could use them as like the bullet points. If we wanna add more of them, it's Control D, Control D, Control D. Put a box around them, a line E, sorry, Control C. Align with the C. Now I could put a white outline on it. That's quite nice. Take three of those, put them up there. And one, move them up. Two, three. If you want any alignment tools, you can just drag the rulers down like so. It helps. So, let's bottom the text, bottom the text, and one, two, three, C, line centrally. Um, I'm not a big fan of putting text on a slant. Um, what we could add here is something like uh, your, 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 Club badge. Let's find a nice font. No, um, I've got a filter on at the moment for variable fonts. I think so. Let's take that off. That's why I'm not seeing many fonts on there. There you go. Let's add in. That'll do. Looks a bit boot boot uh, club which actually wouldn't be a bad shout for um, and let's squash that up a little bit because I want, want people to see that make it appear like it is actually on there one two three let's go white and group combine and then so I could group and then um, contour them and we'll let's get in there start to look quite nice actually a bit too much white text I'm gonna change that white and change that text to the blue I think that might look nice let's just make that white um, that does need to stand out a little bit more. I would probably bolderize that, 
centralize it centralize that with pressing C um, starting to come together quite nicely so really we need some social media um, buttons to go in there so let's get some of those paste those in um, quick trace let's see if I can get anything out of them cool it's done that the trace on this new corridor is absolutely cracking and that's done that already so now I can get rid of the bitmaps behind and these I could actually tweak to my own specification so let's just say I just want um, I don't want those I don't want that one <clears throat> but those those are cool uh, circle size on that is 18 mil high so let's go um, group 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 so that's E to align through the center axis. Let's reduce those down. Let's have a look, see how they sit on there. Uh, they'd be all right. Yeah, that'd do. So I'm going to ungroup them and then I'm going to let me lock that behind. If I lock that, like so. That means now I can just grab that all, put that central, and again, central. Um, so what you could do if you wanted to be a little bit crazy is you could change these to match in, like so, just so they sort of blend in with your logo. Um, that's I clicked on that. Let me click away. Click once. Hold the shift key down, click again, click again, so I get all the components that I want. Um, and I'll group that. This outside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that apart. Object, break contour, pour it apart. So then I can put a circle around it all and go EC. And object, break that apart again. You see, group the center point and the outside. You see, you see. So that's just aligning them nicely. And I'll group them. And I'm going to get rid of this black line now. So I'm going to press the right mouse button at the top there just to get rid of that. Um, here again right mouse button get rid of the line on there i want to leave the lines on those because i like that um, these parts i'm going to highlight and i'm going to get rid of that as well and that's where i am really so when you export this you're you're not going to see that there that's going to basically look like that and that there I'd like to have a white edge around the back of that ungroup click on that there white I'd like to take the lines out of that actually nearly finished there what do you reckon that's how to make a t-shirt flyer for a sports club.